I'm Dr. Roger Mugford and I work with dogs. I'm involved in the training and the better management of sometimes dangerous dogs. And I rely on equipment from a company called MDC and they specialise in equipment for animal rescue and for humane control. We're going to be looking at three categories of products. Firstly, make friends with frightened dogs. Very important. Treats and the like. We've got some lightweight animal capture equipment here. We've got something a little more sophisticated uh, here, a snappy catcher. And we've got a heavy duty dog pole here. We're going to be looking at these products in action and how they can be best used to minimize the fear and stress of dogs that really probably don't want to go, go with you. They want to stay where they are. We have a dog loose in the car park. How shall I catch it? Well, I have a choice of two products here. Um, one is a, a simple noose snare action here, which is called a dog warden's best friend, or a, a rather tougher, based on steel rope, which is plastic coated and quite humane, uh, and this will naturally close over his neck when he pulls against it. So this is my object of choice. Come on, come, come on, come on, come with me. This is the snappy snare. We use this for catching elusive dogs that don't want to be caught, dogs that are probably not going to be aggressive, and uh, usually smaller dogs. And we, it's very simple in concept. Hold it like so, put it over the dog's neck. But notice that I was using it in combination with treats. Most dogs like food, and that's your best friend. Hey, hey. Okay, little one. Okay, fella. All right, all right. You are just a glutton for food. Here's some more, boy. Come on, come on. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, yeah. Excellent boy. Excellent boy. Come on, come on. Right, I've successfully assumed control of this uh, rather agitated beagle. It's time to move him onto the dog warden's best friend, this soft loop. And I'm going to slip that over him. And now I have him ooh, under control. I'm going to release the, the pole. And there we go. And now I can go off and do some training with him. So this is my dog Bounce. In his younger days, he was boisterous. He was a stray from Ireland, came to England, um, and uh, probably has been uh, picked up by a dog warden, just like you, with equipment just like this. Now, um, the 
dog warden's best friend is aptly named this simple little slip lead here. And the special thing about it is that it will not choke the dog when the slip closes. It's got this little stop action here. So it's kind, it holds its loop nicely, and it's easy to slip over a dog's head like so. And then I can take him off to the kennels or into my transport van. Um, now, if he was a really frightened dog, maybe he would try and chew this and, and break free. So we have this tough lead here. This tough lead is flexible, very strong, plastic coated, but it does not have that stop action. So you have to be careful when you're using it, when it's over the dog's neck, that he isn't pulled around because literally it would have a, an unpleasant action on the dog's throat. But it's a very reliable piece of equipment, but strictly for short term use. Now you've seen for dogs that are running loose, we have this little snappy here, glass fibre reinforced a rod here with a, a little loose piece at the end. Now um, it can be used in different ways. This is probably the best way is just to literally hook it over their neck like so and, and no stress is caused to the animal. If it's a recalcitrant dog that's running around and you're having to really then I can do this and and obviously it causes some stress at that moment of release but the dog will quickly recover. It's a very safe piece of equipment but it doesn't give you any handling control. This is a dog that if you were aggressive would still be able to come back and bite me. So we wouldn't like that. So finally we have the pole. Now this is a beautifully engineered piece of equipment from MDC. Um, very strong indeed. I've used it so many times it's got me out of so many uh, dangerous situations. Um, the important thing to remember about this pole is that there is a, 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 a lock mechanism here so I can lengthen the length of the, of the loop here by pulling this mechanism back. When I put it over the dog's head and I pull this back it's on a non-return system so that the dog cannot escape. It will only close and it cannot be released, it cannot be lengthened. And once I'm satisfied that the dog is no longer a danger and is in a safe environment and I've led him, remember the way I was using this post, this pole, I can hold it with two hands, he cannot come back and bite me, he cannot escape, but there's no need for me to throw the dog about. I can treat him just as gently as he were he on a normal uh, flexible dog lead. And then of course at the moment of arrival at the safe kennels or in my transport vehicle, I release him and he's free to go. So the dog pole is something that you have to have uh, with you just in case. So it's uh, a, one of those important pieces of safety equipment that you have in the background, but hope you won't have to use. The, the easier things to use are, are items like this, the snappy and this, but best of all, remember, dogs, uh, the dogs that you're encountering are almost certainly frightened, nervous creatures. Make friends with the dog. Um, don't stare at them, get them used to the fact that you're giving them things, payoffs, treats like this. Never be without treats in your pocket. And, um, and don't go in and scare the animal because it's already pretty scared. Uh, make friends with them and treat them kindly. Remember, the, in all likelihood, the dog that you're picking up is somebody else's best friend, so treat it with respect.